Hey guys, I'm Sync. And I'm Echo. And we are back once again playing I, the Somnium Files. In the last episode, we had a trip back to, well, we had that Somnium that we went into, which we couldn't control. Uh, we, we, we went through the, just what happened to get us into Saito's body. Um, the fact that... Uh, as Falco switching with Rohan, that the body of Falco, that well, that we shot Hitomi on accident because she thought that Falco was Falco and not Rohan. Um, and we escaped, and when we switched with Saito, Saito went into Rohan's body, and we escaped because of the partial sink, which. We didn't get our memories when we switched. It was only our mind. Yes, and apparently the memory was left behind in the original body of Falco and not left behind in Rohan. Yeah. So. This is how now, it be. Yeah, so now that we're uh, back in the present and... In our uh, current body. Yeah, in our current body and Hitomi and Iris are in danger... Uh, let's talk to Smiling. Code one two three four five six seven eight nine. Yes, explode. So after about Rohan after personality ex exchange. All right. Stop right there. Are we collecting dots or? All right, so your arrest, Rohan. Huh. Yeah, we saw this one. Is it just Six a flashback? Ago, Rohan in Falco's body visited Hitomi's house and tried to kill her. Right. But that didn't go very well. He was arrested by the police. Yeah. He was sent to trial and sentenced to life in prison. It only makes sense. Wait, when we switch bodies back, what how is this gonna affect us? Responsible for countless murders. The title assassin makes it sound so clean and professional, doesn't it? But he was a murderer. A serial killer. Life in prison was a light sentence as far as I'm concerned. So what's the story behind him to become an assassin? Worse. Was it still like something with his brain and then like there was, I think it was Wait, something with his Falco? brain and then Falco? Yeah, Falco. Yeah, we got Falco's backstory. Yeah, from Rohan. Yeah. But like now, it, now because it was in a different body, it makes me question the validity of it. No, nope, that, that that's that's pretty much all true. So okay, so he just killed someone one day, and then he just started doing it as like a job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Vigilante justice. What happened after we exchanged minds? Vigilante justice until it wasn't. Doing? Follow him. They obviously fucked up in their job. Yep. Just like the police officer. Back in the abyss. After the sink six years ago, I became a parasite in Rohan's body. But I was broken. The you broke Rohan's body. <laughs> piece by piece. But that error did allow me to escape prison. Wait, so he knew about this? Because Falco's was memory was... was accused of injuring Hitomi. Naturally, I went to trial, being the one inside Rohan's body at the time, mm -hmm. for a violation of firearms law and attempted murder. However... Prosecution tried to get him on premeditated murder, but... It was determined... He was insane at the time. Anyway, they decided to keep him in a special hospital. So he does, he did have Falco's memory when he was in Rohan. Mm. What's 
Falco's real name. You would know more about that than me. Or do you not remember? You've been using other men's names for so long you don't even know your own. It's Yagyu. Hayato Yagyu. Yes, that's right. You're a Japanese native who worked as a police officer. He may have been foreign. Imagine, a police officer being a serial killer. I don't think the public would react kindly to that if they found out. Heads would roll, departments would fold, there would be shameful suicides. Hat man. So your superiors decided that erasing every record of your existence was the preferable option. Hayato Yagyu ceased to exist. And now he's just number Falco, 89. The anonymous assassin. No, was sent 89 to prison, was that where he body was known as number 89. As fitting Rohan with no in that name. body. <laughs> Counterattack. Saito is off guard. I might be able to make a move. Or you can just have Iba explode. <laughs> this is me. I'm just like, explode. Yeah. Iba. You have a choice. Iris and Hitomi. Die before these two or after. I would of course prefer that you choose the latter. It would be quite a lonely affair with no one watching. So, what do you want to do? I'll give you to the count of three. One. Two. Three. Moma! No, wait! Damn. Wait, but where are they? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You really, Date? Yeah. He heard the whole thing. How'd you know? Yeah, someone called Aiba told me about it. Ah, it was weird. It was kind of like eavesdropping. Wait. Aiba. Uh huh. Where is she? I don't see her anywhere. Did Aiba did all that? Such as left eye socket. What else, Saito? Figuring it out? What's wrong? Yeah. Sorry. She can act on her own, oh, right? She called. Me. She called. Uh, oh yeah, she the... called Oto when I was knowing. Yep. Do it! Tessa and her mom are in danger, right? Please, save them. I gave a firm nod and gripped the gun, following after Saito. Oh. What? How is the electricity still working? Iris! Ah! Date, do you like fireworks? <laughs> I love them. <laughs> A brilliant First person shooter time! <laughs> of time. The flash begins as a perfectly ordered chemical reaction that melts into chaos. Is it too much to ask for Iba to explode right now? As is the universe itself. Damn it. I can't get into my sight. And I can't get any help from Iba. Oh, yes, you can. Scattering in the moment. Technically, Iba is set to be your partner, not Saito. A unique moment that you can never revisit. Unless you have to get Saito to <laughs> accidentally say all the stuff. Don't you think so? <laughs> Should I just risk it? No! Explode Iba! But I've spoken enough. It's showtime. I will show you the most beautiful fireworks you've ever seen. The scattering of the cerebral plasma. The splattering blood. It's art. Perfect, beautiful art of a lonely moment in time. Don't blink. I want this to burn into your retinas. Well, 
the one you have left. Damn it! What do I do? What do I do? We're set up a protocol, ding! <laughs> <laughs> so that if you say these stuff, I will explode. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah, Mizuki! Mizuki! You bastard! What do you think you're doing to Iris? <laughs> <laughs> do you know Mizuki would do this on her own? Yes. Like if Dante did anything. Christ! You think she would have bashed his head in? And this is why you don't bring a child to these dangerous fights. No. Seeing Dante get beat up, not gonna lie. <laughs> Even though that's Saito. Yeah. Where's he told me? Did you find him? No, I can't find him anywhere. They're very accepting of this. You should not have hit him behind the containers. I'm just saying. All right. Who do you want to talk to? Just get Ota over with. All right. When, when did you, you get, get here? here? Some girl named Iba told me to come. Iba. I did everything. About the mind swapping too. What? what? I heard it too. From Saito. Kunko, it's really you, right? You came to help. Yeah, of course. If I didn't come, who would? Oh, well, this is now, you know, this is now getting out to the public. We didn't come here for you. Yeah. Here for you. Right. Got it. Are you okay? I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Go save my mom. How's your foot? I'm Leg? Fine. This is nothing. Stop worrying about me and go get that guy. Is that okay. it? Where are you? Iris is holding Mizuki up. Mizuki is leaning against Iris. Ota is looking at me uneasily. Wait, there's All another right. thing for Ota. It's raining hard. Equipment. Machine or some. No, 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 go to Ota again. He's not gray, but I can't think about him right now. I need to find <laughs> Saito and he told me. <laughs> Wait, there's something else going on about he, Mizuki and Iris. Seems okay, I need to find Saito. I'm worried about her, but right now I need to find Saito. There you go. Uh, metal door. Did go through the door. I didn't hear it open. Is he still nearby? Maybe. Uh, metal door. Unlikely container. Container. So when I climb out, they're going to see him anywhere. Oh, but the container is oh. open. He's not behind the container. Look up. Scaffold. Oh. Oh, the control room. Dante. Hitomi. Hitomi. I like how we're all accepting that that's Dante. Rushing up the stairs, stuff. They're step by step until they blur together. When I reach the top floor, a sight I will never forget greeted my eye. Seems I have an even bigger audience now. That's fine. Having more spectators will be a treat for us all. You all want to see, don't you? The fireworks? <laughs> oh, am I wrong? <gasps> so you don't want to see the fireworks? Fine. Well, we're we're set up fireworks, right? Right, right. Dante, yeah. Drop your Iva! I promise I'll put the fireworks on hold. I'll even release this woman. He's lying, Dante! Don't do it! Throw down your gun, Dante. Iba! What do fireworks, alright? 
Iba! You don't intend to take me up on my generous proposal? Mate. You want to shoot me, is that it? Then do it. But you only get one shot. You have to kill me with one bullet. If you don't, the fireworks show. Oh my gosh! This, this is a perfect chance! I will blow I'm a... this woman's brains into the sky! <laughs> what will it be, Dante? What will you, you do? You have a fail safe! Don't pull the trigger! Iva! Don't pull the trigger. Yell out the code! Well done. However, you aren't out of the woods yet. You have to throw your gun down, remember? Yell out the code! You have. <laughs> one minute to yell out the code! In your hands, I'll start the fireworks. I will start the fireworks! If any of you move, I'll skip down to zero. Let's begin. Ready? 59. 58. Dante, look! It's that girl I told you about. Explode! Iba. Date, I do not have much time. Listen carefully. As I mentioned previously, I cannot escape this body. The surge of electricity shorted out my circuits. But I, I can still explode! Paralyzing electric shock either. However, there is another option. Huh? Self-destruct. <laughs> They're all gonna be like what? Let us determine a code number. Command 41205. If you issue this command, I will detonate. No, that's still too dangerous. The number will be the first lock. If I give you the second command within one minute of the first... What is the second command? How about if I tell a lie? A lie? Something that's not the truth. If I say something untrue, I want you to regard it as the second command. The Is truth. Data stored I hate porn. Unfortunately, that data has all been deleted. I'm speaking to you using only local data. Then, if your body is destroyed. Correct. I will be destroyed as well. Ten. Nine. Date. Six. Five. Date. Command. Two. One. Even more of an idiot than I thought. Do I look like the kind of man who keeps his promises? Now you get to see five fireworks. If you didn't drop your gun, it would have only been one. You understand? After I dispose of this woman, I will pop their heads as well. <laughs> I can't believe you did that. Fortunately for you, you won't have long to regret it. Yes. Yes. The burning in your eye. I see it now. How? Watch. We're like 20 feet Eyes away. Open. Watch this woman die. See her brain burn like fireworks. There'll be fireworks, all right. Ida, can you hear me? Yes. We don't have a choice. Command four one two zero five. Okay, Date. I I I... 
I hate you, Iba. I hate you, and I never want to see you again. Second command confirmed. I understand. Be seeing you. Has Aiba always been in your left eye? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me? I thought you'd be jealous. Huh? Thank you so much, Uncle. No, don't thank me. Thank my partner. Mr. Falco! It is you, Falco. Right? Oh, crap! Someone get this man to the hospital! You shouldn't call me that. I am Kaname Dante, MPD, Special Investigation Team Abyss. Sinker. Three months later. This whole thing is on the news, isn't it? <laughs> Three months later. I mean, if Tessa says it, it will be on social media. Just saying. Uncle, your left eye. Oh, this? <laughs> it's just a prosthetic. It doesn't bother me. Oh, good. All right. Is there Praying anything? Mantis. What are you doing? Praying Mantis fist. Mizuki talking. <laughs> Not sure what it has to do with anything. Would she really be doing that? I'll show you. Uh, oh, man. Uncle, have you heard this story? A long time ago, when I came to the shrine with Mizuki, oh no! <laughs> her belly button in the Chozuya. Someone told her that's what you do. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> you, you wash, wash your, your hands, hands and face here. These Guardian dogs are supposed to be inspired by sphinxes from Egypt. That went to India, then China, then all the way to Japan. Really? I didn't know that. I wonder if that's true or what. <laughs> Apparently, it came from Egypt. I do not know the validity of that. I mean, we do have the Silk Road and stuff, so mm -hmm. a lot of ideas travel, but I don't remember you know exactly the road of yeah. the Silk Road. To music on your smartphone with wireless earphones, you must be sure it is properly synced with your device. Advice. <laughs> that is absolutely yeah. not what it says. The arch tree. Mizuki knocked one of these down. I looked around, but no one was there. Is something wrong? No, I just felt like I heard someone talking. What? <laughs> the I voice from it. in the temple when we were in the Somnium. I replanted it. 
like you've been looking at that rope for a while. Why is that? Hmm? No reason. Oh my gosh, the offering box. I don't particularly like rope or anything. Being tied up in rope still. <laughs> he likes bondage. <laughs> okay. That's okay. It's fair as long as there's no, yeah. like safe. It's safe. Yeah. Offering the box. offering box. You know, if we had some fishing <laughs> gum. I never thought you'd be an offering box thief. No, no. You've got it all wrong. Oh, do I? I swallowed a goldfish. I'm trying to get it out by swallowing some fishing line. Are you sure your brain is fully recovered? Alright. Uh, is there still oh. more to shrine? Shrine. Shito Shrine looks rather sold. I think that's it. How, the, Tree again. Is, was the bell There's one? There's no one around. Okay, the bell is that one? No, I can't see the bell. Okay. Alright. Hi, Iris. Iris. How are you? <laughs> well, it's been three months, so do you yeah. like my new body? Oh, oops. As you can see, I'm great. Hop, hop, kangaroo goes hop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad the surgery went well. Oh, they got yeah. the money for it. The nano machines went pew pew and bzz, bzz and got rid of all the tumors. At least that's what I think they sound like. I don't know, they're small. Anyway, everything is fine now. The doctor even said I can dance again. That's the most important thing. All thanks to the boss. She the boss. The treatment. Can you believe it? That's not exactly true. <laughs> boss didn't pay out our pocket. It was confidential transfer of funds from the main office. Iris knows everything about the original and new Cyclops considering we're killing now. Not just her. He told me Mizuki, Ota, Moma, they all know. <laughs> it was hush money. The higher offs were willing to do anything to keep it from getting out. So in return for her silence, they agreed to pay for Iris's treatment. <laughs> Maybe I owe it to the shrine. I feel like I ate the fruit of immortality. In a dream somewhere. Then I guess you're immortal, huh? <laughs> we'll see 50 years from now. Immortal? <laughs> Does it mean that you don't age? Just yeah. say it. <laughs> Do you like my new body? Do you like my new body? Now is more familiar for me anyway, so... My old uncle is back, you know? Besides, I don't care what you look like. You're always uncle to me. Isn't that how it should be? To judge by our hearts and not by our appearance? Well, so, Dante well, had really some bad, ugly, huh? bad things. <laughs> <laughs> no, no! That he should have been so saying to you! Kind of handsome. Why did you want to come here? Because of the memories. I wanted to come here with Uncle again. Ratty cake, ratty cake. <laughs> yep. Man. And this, this flashback ratty once again. Do you want to see this can. the fourth or fifth time in this entire game? It, fill it with fruit. I wonder if we're going to get the punishment again. Put it in the oven. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. This gives me way too much time to think which I should throw. I win, I win. Yay! His hands are not or very small. By the way, compared to Iris's children hands, child hands. <laughs> what question? What question? What question indeed? Oh yes, that question. When am I gonna hear good news from you two? Well, now it's awkward. Just saying. I turned away without answering. The same question. Mm -hmm. I stared out in the distance and something caught my eye. Winter Iris is in full bloom. Man, I have to say that Soul Sojima well, just didn't going. want anything to go yeah, out. We still have no. a lot of people to see. Yesterday, Iris was discharged from the hospital. Iris said she wanted to see everyone who visited her. But she's a little embarrassed to go by herself, so I promise I take her. We also have to get home. Hmm? Shovel Forge. Uh, if you try it, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But we do have a date, don't we? 
The date we had three months ago isn't over yet. So let's go. <laughs> That's just weird to say now. <laughs> All right, where do you want to go? <laughs> well, I'm assuming we can go everywhere. Yes. Okay, good, because we're going to get rid of the Sajima resident first. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Fair enough. <laughs>